have been with us for a long time, and they'll be with us as time goes by, because they're basic human problems, human tendencies. One of the basic human problems always has been and always will be finding what kind of work, what kind of a job should I do in life? What's, what's my place in life? The two o'clock jet from Montana has just landed at New York, bringing in some 200 passengers, including some who have come to the world's largest city for the first time. Roy Bartlett is one of these, big strapping kid out to seek fame and or fortune, and New York was ready for him. The ancient custom of fleecing the country yokel will not die out for quite a few centuries to come. He just emerged from the port terminal and was looking around, big-eyed and confused and bewildered by the immensity of it all, when a girl came up to him. Hello there. Waiting for someone? Uh, uh, you speak to me, miss? That's who I was talking to, handsome. I asked you, are you waiting for someone? Oh, no, no, no. That is... I mean, I just got here, miss. I came in from Montana on the, on the jet plane there. Oh, you got friends here? Oh, I'm afraid I don't, miss. I just sort of decided to up and come to the city and sort of try my luck at it. Well, maybe I can help you. I sort of like you. You do? Huh? Mm-hmm. You know, something in me wants to help strangers to, to show them the ropes. And I've got free time now. I'd, I'd like to, well, spend it with you. Oh, you're so kind, eh? So pretty. <laughs> you think so? Oh yes, yes. You're you're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Your smile, your eyes, you Oh, you're good. I can tell you're you're warm and sweet. It's good of you to come to talk to me like this, to stand so close to me. Well, I think I like you too. Uh, what did you say your name was? I didn't. Oh, I, I mean, it's Bartlett, that uh, Roy Bartlett. Well, I'm Diana Lawson. Mm. You're big. <laughs> Strong, I'll bet. Handsome. Well, does it, does it always happen this way? Uh, Suppose we stop in for a bite to eat at that refresher mat and get to know each other, huh? I think that's a wonderful idea. <laughs> Roy, each drink you want, you put a half-credit coin in the slot and punch out the combination. Mm -hmm. For a martini, you punch out four, three, six, like it says on the board up there. Here, give me the money. I'll get us some drinks. Huh? All right. Four, three, six. Mm. There we are. Whoa. Two nice dry martinis. Here, you take yours and we'll go to that table. Silly, don't spill it. Well, aren't, aren't we going to get anything to eat? Ah, oh, we can eat later. The occasion calls for a drink to, to celebrate your arrival. Here you are. And sip it this time. Well, I'm, I'm sorry if I did the wrong thing with the drink. I just didn't know, of you know. Of course you didn't know. But you'll learn all these things, Roy. Uh, where are you from? Why are you here? Well, I worked all my life on my father's farm, and he died last year and left me all alone out there, see? Oh. I kept things going a while and then figured I ought to try something different. And sold the farm, and I bought a ticket to New York. And a one-way ticket. Oh. It must seem like a different world to you. Oh, it does. Big and frightening, unfriendly. At least it seemed unfriendly at first, till I met you, Diane. <laughs> uh, I can't ever thank you enough for coming over to me when I was alone. You don't need to thank me, Roy. Just common decency to help a stranger out. <laughs> Especially when he's a good-looking stranger. Uh, when are you seeing the central computer? The what? 
the central computer. Huh? Well, it runs New York, you know. Keeps the trains moving, the traffic lights, everything. You have to register with a computer when you establish permanent residence here. If you don't have a job, the computer will give you one. You mean you didn't know that? I guess I hadn't heard. Well, where do I find this uh, computer? Oh, just ask any policeman. He'll get you there. Oh, Diana, you're swell for helping me out like this. I mean it. I uh, wish oh, there's some way I could thank you for this. Oh, I told you it's just common decency. Uh, Roy, the money from the sale of your farm, did you bring it with you? You bet. Yes, sir. 5000 in cash and the same in traveler's checks. Oh, so much. You carrying it around with you? Yeah, sure. Hey, that's dangerous, Roy. You'd better put it in the bank right away. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know any banks. Oh, I'll take you to one. Come on. Uh, unless you want another drink before we go. No, no, I haven't, I haven't finished this one yet. Here, wait a minute. Mmm. <laughs> those, those things taste better after you've had a few, you know. <laughs> now, come along. I'll take you to the bank and then to the computer. Oh, it's wonderful of you to take this interest in me. They they warned me New Yorkers were unfriendly people, but they sure aren't. <laughs> Down this way. In here. But it's dark in this... Hey! Go ahead, Mike. Hit us. Get away from me, you... Leave me alone. Diana! Come back! Diana! Bartlett, age 25, height 6 feet 2 inches, weight 185 pounds, born in Helena, Montana, 17 February 2184. Parents deceased. If any of this information is incorrect, please amend it. That's all correct, sir. Use of honorific titles is not necessary when addressing us. According to the report of the police officer who found you, you were beaten and robbed shortly after your arrival in New York. That's right. She said she wanted to help me to, to show me the ropes in New York. Identify more specifically the she to whom you refer. She gave her name as Diana Lawson. Describe her. Oh, she's a uh, medium height, uh... Five, four or so, and blonde hair, good looking. Cute face, though the eyes are a little hard now that I think about it. She, she looks about uh, 23 or so. Our record banks hold no information on someone of that name fitting the description you give. The name was obviously assumed. Your introduction to New York life was unfortunate, but not uncommon. Do you plan to remain here as a permanent citizen? Yes, I, I, I mean, yes. What are your vocational plans? I'm afraid I don't have any. Your previous experience is wholly agricultural. This will be of little use to you in the metropolitan area. Have you any preference for the type of work you would like to do? This would guide us in assigning you. I had... Well, I'd like to help people, if you know what I mean. I'd like to keep people from having the thing happen that, that happened to me. I mean, New York is full of confused, unhappy people who have to prey on others like the girl did on me. You regard her as confused, unhappy? Of course. I can't think of her as being just, well, wicked. People aren't born bad or good. They're, they're raised that way. Maybe she could have been helped a few years ago, and then she wouldn't have to go around robbing strangers. You harbor no hatred for the girl. I sort of never looked at it as hatred, sir. I, I mean... I'm sorry, sir. I can't help calling you, sir. If it makes you more comfortable, you may. Thanks, sir. Well, as, as I was saying... 
No, I, I, I don't hate that girl, Diana. I'd help her if I could. She is a warped criminal. But is that permanent, sir? Can't she be brought in and straightened out somehow? There is psychological rehabilitation for criminals, yes. Well, you mean if she could only be caught and brought in, she could be turned into a useful citizen? If she could be found in a city this large, it is not always possible to track criminals. Well, I'd like to try to find her, sir. I mean, that's my vocational plans. I'd like to become a policeman, sir. You will have to face psychological testing first, of course, and a training period of six months. But let us warn you, Roy Bartlett, if your motive in this is one of revenge, you will not survive the first battery of tests. Revenge? Oh, no, not revenge, sir. I want to help that girl. And the others like her. Honest, that's what I want to do. This will be demonstrated in the tests. Do you think I'll make the grade, sir? The tests will answer that. But I mean, you computers can figure probabilities. Can't you tell me if... if uh... You are most unusual, Roy Bartlett. But the probability favors your success. You will be taken to the testing center immediately. And if you are approved, you will go to the training camp. Oh, thanks, sir. Thanks for, for listening to me. Will you wish me good luck? Our data banks do not show the validity of such a wish, Roy Bartlett. But if your statements today were sincere, you should have no difficulty attaining your goal. The robot will show you to the testing center. can talk about revenge. Uh, that's a word that can be put in its vocabulary. But it couldn't understand what revenge meant. It couldn't understand human feelings of any kind. For that, human beings are necessary. For that, Roy had to be passed along to human beings who could teach him, could understand him, could help him understand himself and find what his life work should be. Mind if I sit down here, miss? You seem to be alone. I am alone. Glad to have some company. Sit down, stranger. Thanks. Thanks very much. You waiting for someone? Yeah, I was. I don't think he's going to show up. You must know how that sort of thing is. When someone you're counting on doesn't show. Yeah. Yes, I know what that's like, Diana. And I've been looking for you almost a year. You know my name. Who are you? You mean you've forgotten me, Diana? I suppose you would have. The pitiful greenhorn you picked up last March? You. The, the Montana fella. That's right. Roy Bartlett. You taught me how to drink a martini, remember, in this very place. And then you taught me what it was like to be robbed by someone you trusted. I'm getting out of here. You can't keep me here. You'll leave when I want you to leave, Diana, not before. Sit still. Don't make a fuss. Let go my arm. You're hurting me. You just sit and try to look relaxed. Don't attract attention. You can't prove anything. Now leave me alone or I'll call a cop. Go ahead, Diana. Call one. Now look. Oh, you... That's right. I found a job in a big city diner. Six months of training and the breaking in period. I don't happen to be wearing my uniform now, but the badge is real. What are you going to do with me? Take you away, Diana, to Psych Center, where they can help you straighten up and grow the way God meant you to. You know, girl, you really did help me, and it really was worth the 5000 you took from me. I didn't know what I wanted to do, and you showed me how to get the kind of job I wanted. What are you talking about? You've never done any farming, have you, Diana? Probably don't realize what a farmer's job is. Well, it's making things grow. Grow strong and right the way they were meant to. But I guess I'd got sort of tired of working just with plants. No, no, no. They'll kill me. They'll make me into something I hate and something that'll hate me. 
It won't be me. I'll be a, a zombie or something. Mm, I suppose it does seem that way. Mm. You never tried it the other way, though, have you? Without hate and bitterness driving you. You mean tried being dead? No, I haven't. No, I mean stop running and start doing what you want for yourself instead of what you think you want to do to somebody else. Now, look. We need Mike, too, your accomplice. He's outside, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Let's walk out together. Act natural. <laughs> That's right. Just walk along with me as if I'm a rube you picked up and you're taking me down the block to that dark alleyway. Yeah, yeah. Where's Mike? Is he right behind us? He ought to be. He's... Mike! Mike, get him! He's a cop! That stun gun blast ought to keep him on ice for a couple of hours. Long enough to get him down to headquarters anyway. I hate you. Why'd this have to happen? Why couldn't you left me alone? I wanted to help you. Help me? By turning me in like this behind me over at the head shrinker? They'll heal you, Diane. Take all the bitter hatred out of your mind. Make you a useful citizen. Who wants to be a useful citizen? I had a good thing here until you busted it up. Now they'll fix me so I'll have to go straight be a, a good girl. Sell buttons on shirts for 30 credits a week. There are good jobs open for rehabilitated criminals. Nobody will hold your past against you. Good job. I'll never be able to go near my old friends. I'll have to begin life all over as somebody new. That's right. And I'll be there to help you start all over. You? Sure. I'll be there to help you. I told you I owe you that. Come along now. Let's go down to headquarters. Some people like to work with material things. And some can't see beyond it. When they can't see beyond material things, they're like Diane. Some people like to work with information, bits of data. Accountants, lawyers, many people work with data and information. So do computers. But some go beyond that and they want to work with human beings. Now some lawyers are not merely information handlers. They're human handlers. I guess Roy was one of those who wanted to go beyond the material and even the low living things. He wanted to work with humans. You see, Diane did do him a favor, and he did owe her a favor. She'd shown him what his real life work should be. <laughs> 